Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminolly, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, disturbing books. So a while ago I put up a video review of this book noticed by Heather Lewis, um, which is the most disturbing book um, I've ever read. It was a very gruelling um, and unpleasant read, but brilliant as well. Um, I'm someone who tends to find myself drawn to this kind of disturbing fiction, be it, you know, kind of crime or horror fiction or more, um, you know, literary fiction that, that dwells on darker themes. Um, I find it fascinating to kind of stare into, if you like, the, the darker side of humanity to try and understand it a bit better um, and also to, to build up empathy with, you know, the victims of some of the horrific things that happen in the world. Um, that video um, has proven to be very successful and I've had loads of comments from people. Um, so I had really some really good conversations in the comments, but also a lot of comments from people suggesting um, other books that they have found disturbing. Um, so I thought it would be an interesting project to set myself to read some of those books um, and to talk about them on the channel. Um, so, you know, to, to read them, make reviews of them. I'll put reviews up on my blog as well. Um, and just have a bit of discussion about some of these books and dig it and dig a bit more deeply into you know what makes these books disturbing what is it that touches us inside that um that you know gives us that that sense of of it's kind of almost existential dread isn't it sometimes um but just you know i i think disturbing is a is a difficult thing to describe isn't it but it can be a mix of kind of fear and disgust and sadness and you know all those things taken together i think books can very powerfully um arouse in us so i've picked a load of books that were suggested um in in comments i haven't by any means picked all the books uh, that were suggested in comments because there would be too many of them what i've tried to do is is pick ones that were suggested by many different people so most of these books were suggested by you know two or more people certainly um, so let me go through the list uh, and show you what I've got. So I'll do the physical books that I've got next to me here first. Um, so the first one is um, The End of Alice by A.M. Holmes. So this was this was recommended by a bunch of people. Um, it's um, supposed to be um, a very troubling uh, kind of um, book about, I think it's about a, um, a, a child killer um, who makes a connection with a kind of a woman on the outside world so they're in prison um so yeah supposed to be um very very disturbing and, and troubling indeed but also a book that's had you know fantastic reviews um next up something a bit older um so this is story of the eye by george bataille uh, which is i think some people consider more of a work of transgressive fiction than disturbing fiction um but a, you know a classic work um which uh, I, I think I'm looking forward to reading. I'm not sure. Um, next, this is a book I've been meaning to read for a long time, Exquisite Corpse by Poppy Z. Bright, which is a, a, horror, a horror novel um, about a serial killer. Um, so I've read, I read Poppy Z. Bright's first book, Lost Souls, when it came out, um, and I, I didn't get on with it that well, to be honest with you. Um, but loads of people have recommended uh, Exquisite Course to me and it came up a lot in the comments, so it's supposed to be a very difficult book indeed. Um, next, a book that was sent to me by the fantastic um, host of the channel, Plague by Visions, uh, Juan Valencia. Um, so this is a British crime novel by an author called Mo Hader, um, Birdman. So um, this was suggested in, uh, in the comments and also other books in the same series were suggested in the comments. So this is the first one. So I thought I'd start with that. I've never read any of the Mo, Mo Hader books. I've read another book that she wrote under a different name, um, The Book of Sand, which was published um, earlier this year, um, which I really like, which was like a sci-fi novel. Um, but these detective novels are supposed to be excellent, but very, very disturbing. Um, Okay, next up, um, an author who turned up a few times um, in the comments, Hubert Selby Jr. Um, so, you know, he, his two more famous books, I think, are um, Last Exit to Brooklyn and um, Requiem for a Dream. Um, but this is the one that people said was was the most difficult of, of his books, um, The Room. So I will, um, I'll see what I make of this one. 
Uh, next up, a um, European novel. I think it's I think it's Belgian. Yeah, um, the Melting by uh, Liz Spitt. I hope I'm pronouncing her first name correctly, um, which sounds very interesting. Um, so about three children in a um, a small Flemish village. Um, and, you know, kind of their lives as they grow up. But again, supposed to be a difficult read. Um, next, this one came up a lot. And it was a book that had been on my radar already. Um, but I haven't got around to reading. Cows by Matthew Stokoe. So I know nothing about what this book is about. Um, whenever anyone talks about it, all they talk about is how disturbing it is. I really don't know anything at all about the actual you know plot or, or characters or anything like that. Uh, next, a play. So I don't often read plays, but this this was suggested a, a number of times. So this is um, The Pillow Man by Martin McDonough, um, which is, a, 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 I think, a just a, a like a two-hander type of play, um, but supposed to be very readable um, as, you know, as a book as well. Um, so I'm not going to be able to get to the theatre um, to see it, but um, I will read the play and see what I make of it. Uh, next book I've heard lots of great things about and I did have a copy of this one um, already uh, but I haven't got around to reading it yet Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Basterica uh, which is a kind of dystopian sci-fi novel about a future where um, humans are farmed for their meat um, so definitely definitely a disturbing concept uh, and again we'll see what I make of that so those are the physical books um, I've got and what I would say is um, I'm not closing it down at this list of, I think there's 14 books in total. So if other things come up, um, I may add those to the list, but these are the ones I'm, I'm going with so far. So the five books uh, I've got on my Kindle um, to read for this are, uh, so the first one, this I think is probably the book that was mentioned most frequently in the comments, uh, the 120 Days of Sodom by the Marquis de Sade, um, which I believe is, um, from, from what people have said to me about it, it's a mix of very disturbing, um, and very disgusting and just boring after a while because it just goes on and on and on. Um, so clearly a very famous book. Um, I will yeah, I will see what I make of that. I think that may be the book I'm least looking forward to reading. Um, next is one which I think is more of a kind of a horror thriller, um, but a few people mentioned this one. It's the first book in the series. It's The Summer I Died by Ryan C. Thomas. Um, so again, I've got that on my Kindle. I'll read that at some point, see what I make of it. Um, and uh, I may read the, the following books in the series if I enjoy it. Um, next is uh, Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. So Karen Slaughter is a, a, a kind of crime slash thriller author. I've read a few books by her over the years and really enjoyed them. She definitely can be quite graphic in her you know, kind of details of violence. So one of her books is about a pathologist, or well, one of her series of books is about a pathologist, so there's a lot of kind of forensic detail. Um, Pretty Girl is about, I think, some um, some young women who've been kidnapped. Um, and I think there's like an element of kind of stuff movies and things like that in it. It's a book I've had in my kinder for a while. Um, but yeah, again, supposed to be incredibly gruelling, but very gripping as well. Um, next is a book by an author I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with, I guess, uh, Corwett McCarthy. So this book is Child of God, uh, which is one I haven't read by him. So I've read The Road, which I thought was excellent. Uh, I've read Blood Meridian, which I thought was excellent, and I've read All the Pretty Horses, which I didn't get on with at all. Um, so Child of God um, is another one of his that is supposed to be a very difficult read um, and has been recommended by a number of people. So I will see what I make of that. And then finally, a book which I think is probably kind of in the extreme horror um, subgenre, uh, and that's um, Womb by Duncan Walston. Uh, sorry, Duncan... Duncan Ralston, I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, I'll put up a picture of it anyway so you can see how it's spelt. Um, yeah, which a number of people mentioned. Um, I, he's an author I'm aware of, but I haven't read yet. Um, so yeah, I will see how I go on with that one. Um, so yeah, really the purpose of this is not to um, come up with a ranking or anything like that. I'm not interested in... It, it feels like it could be... It could... Um, kind of devolve into a quite tasteless exercise in in like ranking human misery um, which is definitely not something I want to do um, but I am interested in exploring different kinds of disturbing fiction by different authors so you know that I think there's quite an interesting mix of books here in that you've got you know kind of crime thrillers which would definitely fall into the kind of popular fiction bucket uh, you've got you know classics you've got literary fiction um, 
you know, modern literary fiction. Um, and you've also got kind of um, like self-published horror type stuff. So a, a wide range of, of different books there. Um, and I think it will be an interesting, I think it will be an interesting experiment to see how I get on with them. Um, what I'm going to do is, is pick um, four of the books um, that I fancy reading first and put a poll up um, in the community tab on the channel so people, people can vote um, about which one they think I should read first. Um, and yeah, take it from there. But I will create a channel on my Discord as well so that if anyone out there is interested in kind of reading along and discussing those books, um, we can, you know, we can talk about them on the Discord too, as well as obviously in the, in the comments for the, the videos I make for them. Um, so yeah, this is a, a new challenge that I'm setting myself over the coming months. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. I'm thinking I'll probably do one or two books a month. Um, so it won't necessarily be something I get through quickly. Um, and I certainly wouldn't want to read all of these books back to back. Um, I think that might be quite a, um, a quite a challenging and uh, futile, or well, not futile, Badly, I think it might be a bad idea, let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spread them out a bit. Um, but yeah, let me know um, in the comments if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. And let me know if you'd like to kind of join in. And as I say, I can put something on my Discord, um, for which there will be a, a link to in the description of the video. Um, and we can talk more about these books there. Okay, time for a random book from the shelf. So I thought I would go with something completely non-disturbing for this. Um, so a book I picked up a while ago but haven't read yet, um, If Chins Could Kill, uh, which is the autobiography of the fantastic actor Bruce Campbell, who I'm a huge fan of, so big fan of the Evil Dead films, um, and also his appearances in other films. I think he's always a very entertaining person to watch and seems like um, quite a nice guy as well. So yeah, we'll see what I, um, I make of this when I read it. But yeah, looking forward to it. Something a bit more fun than um, all the other books. I've just talked about. So as always, thank you very much for watching. As I say, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Let me know if you're interested in taking part or if you've read any of the books. Um, yeah, and as always, I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're really good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.